Good morning. I have just come from a meeting with Cobra. Uh, that was a mistake. Uh, snakes are notoriously bad at forward planning. Uh, he didn't have much to offer. It was, um, if I'm honest, it was a waste of an hour. You know, uh, all he said was, which I assume meant that he thought we should get out the water cannons, and I agree, frankly. Uh, let me first of all say that the scenes last night were sickening. Absolutely sickening. Young people should not be allowed to go around smashing up private property unless they are members of a very, very exclusive drinking society. I like a laugh as much as the next man. More if the next man's Norman Tebbit. He hates laughter. But we don't do that here. This is England. We don't riot. This isn't France. In England, if we're upset about something, we write a stern letter to the Telegraph. We mutter in pubs. We go on a killing spree until Paul Gascoigne brings us chicken. That is our way. Now David Cameron's had to recall Parliament. So let me say something to the young people behind this. It's not just people's lives you're wrecking. It's not just people's property you're wrecking. It's people's holidays you're wrecking. Think about that. David Cameron is going to recall all the MPs so they can fulfil their basic and proper functions, which are to look concerned and shout at each other in a building near the Thames. David Cameron has made it clear that this government will do whatever it takes to make sure there is no repeat of last night. He's recalled the MPs. He's made sure the bishops are on hand. He's calling Miss Marple back from Cancun. And he's got the Smurfs on call in case there's trouble. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Apart from analysing our policy on cuts to police force and youth services. Now, if you'll excuse me, there is important work to be done. I received rather surly service from a waitress at the airport on my way home, so I'm going to have to go and upbraid her very severely. What is this country coming to? May God have mercy on your souls.